The first thing that we would like to do in solving this question is to just write down some of the key information that we know about both the red car and the green car. And we can perhaps start with the red car. We do know one important piece of information right off the bat. The initial position of the red car is negative 35 meters. So we're going to jot that down. And then we also notice regarding the red car that it begins from rest. So we could certainly say that the velocity of the red car initially is zero meters per second. Importantly, we will notice from the graph that at a time of 12 seconds, the positions of the two cars are going to be the same. That key time of 12 seconds is going to be the secret to unlock this question. So we're going to say that the time that we're interested in is 12 seconds. And we don't know the final position of the red car but it's going to become important to kind of include it in our list because as noted, it will be the same as the final position of the green car. And we're also looking for the acceleration. So we might list that A is an unknown here as well. Now we can look at the green car. We can start with the final, or excuse me, the initial position of the green car, which is 270 meters. So we'll put that in. And then we know that the green car has a constant speed of 20 meters per second. But if you go back and look at the diagram, you will see that the green car is traveling to the left. So in fact, we're going to say that the velocity of the green car initially is negative 20 meters per second. Notice we're saying negative because again, it's traveling to the left. So that's important. The cars will pass one another at that key time of 12 seconds. So we're gonna include the same time value for the green car. And then we don't know the final position of the green car. We do know the acceleration though. It says that the green car has a constant speed. So you wanna think about what that means in terms of acceleration. And of course the acceleration at constant speed is zero, zero meters per second squared. Back to the red car, we may want to put a little subscript R there, by the way. So there we have the key information for each of the two cars. Now we want to pick a formula that's going to help us find the acceleration of the red car. So we have the initial position, the initial velocity, and a time, and we're looking for acceleration. And it turns out that this equation right here is going to serve us well in solving for the acceleration of the red car. So we'll apply that equation to both cars. So for the red car, we can say the final position, which is x sub r minus the initial position. Be careful here, the initial position is negative 35 meters. So you're actually subtracting a negative there. And then we see that this equals the initial velocity of the red car, which was zero multiplied by the 12 seconds, then plus one half times the acceleration of the red car multiplied by the time squared. Now we can actually simplify this equation a little bit because we can say that xr plus 35 equals on the other side, that cancels out, and then we can multiply the one half by the 12 squared, and that gives us 72. So this is gonna equal 72 times the acceleration of the red car. We apply the same equation to the green car. We have the final position of the green car minus the initial position, which was 270. This equals the initial velocity of the green car, which is negative 20, multiplied by the time of 12 seconds, then plus one half times the acceleration of the green car times the 12 seconds squared. This term is just zero, so we can simplify this equation greatly. We can say that the x sub g minus 270 is equal to negative 240. Now, if we add 270 to both sides of this equation, we can see that the final position of the green car is indeed 30. But remember that the final position of the green car is going to be the same as the final position of the red car. They meet after that 12 second time period. So you can see over here on the axis here, they're gonna have the same final position there. So what we can do therefore is take the 30 meters that we figured out was the final position of the green car and plug it in for the final position of the red car as well. So now we have the 30 meters plus 35 is equal to 72 multiplied by the acceleration of the red car. On the left side, it looks like we've got 65 
This is equal to 72a sub r. Just divide both sides by 72 there, and you're going to get an acceleration of the red car of approximately 0.90 meters per second squared. This is the correct answer to this question.